Hello and welcome to this lesson of SketchUp. My name is Ali Gostasvirad and we're going to model the form of Studio Gang's pavilion. Uh, so in order to model this uh, complex geometry, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to create simple curved lines uh, by using uh, the simple command arc and then we move on to create this uh, complex curved form uh, by the use of ShapeBender plugin. So uh, the first thing that I need to do is to create an arc. So in order to do that, I uh, press A on keyboard and uh, to activate the arc command and uh, click once and uh, move it on the red direction and type 1.5 for one and a half meters and just press enter key and I'm press the up arrow key and I type 0.3 for 30 centimeters and then I can select it and copy it to the right like this and then I press the Q for rotation and I press the right arrow key to lock it on the red axis and just click here and click on the up of this arc and just type 180 for 180 degrees and just select the both of these arcs and press the M key for copying it and I move it over here and press X5 for five times of copying of these curves and then I select all of them and press the F key for offset and I uh, type 0.1 for 10 centimeters and I close these two arcs or join these two arcs with uh, drawing a line from here to here and also at this end and then we use push-pull for uh, pushing it to for like one meter and in order to use the shape and the tool uh, we need to create a group or component uh, from the solid that we just created so in order to do that I uh, triple click on this solid and then I just press uh, ctrl G uh, the control G is not assigned for the group, but you can assign it by going into window and preferences uh, and uh, assign it over there. Uh, I chose control G because G is for component and control G is uh, really easy to remember when G is for component. So in order to use the shape bender, we need to have uh, three things. Um, first is a solid group that we have over here right now. And the second one is a line. Uh, that indicates uh, the beginning and the end of this uh, solid group and we need to have an arc uh, for it to understand uh, how it's going to be bent so uh, I create a line start and finish over here and we can just do it in the red direction so uh, when it's on the red axis I uh, hold the shift key and just click over here and now we have like a solid uh, group over here and the second one is a line start finish and now we need to create an arc so in order to create an arc I press A and just we create an here we see that it says half circle and just we click it over here and just we type 20s for 20 sides uh, and now we click on this solid group and go into the extensions and Chris Fuller Tools Shape Bender, or we can just uh, um, press Control B, Control B I press, and I click on this line that indicates the start and end of uh, this solid group. And the second and the third thing that I need to do is to click and press on this uh, or click on this uh, arc that we have over here and when I click uh, we can see that 
the solid that we had is now bent like this and the direction is outer part but we can just press the up arrow key to get it to the inner part of this uh, curve so uh, I choose to have it on the outer part of this curve and I press enter key in order to create this form and I click on this new bended shape and rotate it 90 degrees like this or uh, negative 90 and then I click on this lower part of this uh, bended geometry and I move it up over here and I copy it in the green direction and guess what happens if we flip it around uh, flip it along uh, the green axis uh, in order to mirror it over here um, the thing that comes to mind is to mirror it um, along this uh, curve so uh, when I click right click on it and flip along the green axis we can see that it's just um, been going upside down and, and that's not what we want so in order to understand what's going on over here the thing that we just did uh, was uh, completely right uh, in if the groups local uh, axis were just the same as the world local axis the world axis so um, the thing is that we need to explode this group or we can just uh, assign it or like um, we can just go inside and cl right click on it and then just uh, say place and then we can just click here here and it's done so we can now right click and flip along the green and it's correct or we can do another thing uh, for this uh, right click and explode it and just control G in order to create uh, a group again and when I do that it's going to have the same uh, axis that we have uh, in the world uh, axis so uh, I right click on it and flip along the green axis and I move this uh, over here like that and I select both of them and just click and copy it like X15 and here we can see we have created this complex form and shape by using just simple um, commands of SketchUp and a plugin named ShapeBender. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.